Oh my god, Justin, look at this literal monster. What do we have here? It is sharp, it is pointy, it is dangerous. Worse than any Lego if you stepped on it. What are, what are we looking at? Oh my gosh, we are looking at the 2019 Godzilla King of the Monsters King Ghidorah SH Monster Arts from Tomashi Nations. This is a special color. I was going to say, you got to add it all out there. You got <laughs> It's a long, long name. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to fit on Twitter, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we saw, saw him in King of the Monsters. Uh, this is the second Ghidorah that we're releasing in the line. Uh, the original one, and now the special color edition you mentioned. Look how gold. Beautiful. This is like straight out of Austin Powers yeah, 3. I love gold. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. Uh, it's definitely, it looks more like we saw in the movie. Uh, it's, you know, it's got that nice hue, as they would say. <laughs> gold, a hue. Goldish hue. Uh, With the white, it sort of has a white undertone to it. It looks, good. It looks yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, you see the scales. It's It's got the white and the silver. It really, really makes the gold pop. It's not just something that was spray painted some gaudy gold, and they're like, ah, we're done with it. It looks yeah. great. Look at, look at the wings, Dave. These things are amazing. Yeah, and the how big? They are almost uh, two of these. Two of those. <laughs> you get a wingspan of about 23.6 inches. That is, uh, uh, that's a big wingspan. It is, it's huge. We, uh, we have it upright like this, uh, so it displays nice. Uh, but yes, you're looking at 23.6 inches, and this bad boy is about 12 inches tall next to when you extend that head all the way up there. Yeah, it's really cool. Obviously, this is a huge piece, so it needs some support. Uh, you know, we have the little piece down here that's actually holding them up. Uh, if you want to display the wings uh, in a different way, like down, it does come with uh, two optional stands that'll hold the wings when you put them out. And so that way you're not toppling and stuff like that. It will make an amazing addition to any of your uh, any of your shelves. You put them in the background, he's so dominating, you know. <laughs> yeah, menacing. Menacing, yes. that's a good yeah. word for it. And, and the stands actually have, you have some wiggle room because you can uh, rotate the top here and you can spin it around. So you're not at the mercy of it fitting only one way, so. Yeah, the top's on kind of a ball joint, so uh, you can do whatever you want to it. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously the, the necks are all independently articulated from each other, so you can have one looking this way, one looking this way, one looking up. Looking at each do. other, like talking there. Chatting, you can have one <laughs> wrapped around Godzilla while the yeah. other one's trying to bite him, while the other one's like yelling at him and stuff like that. I like it. Uh, the two tails. Two tails, they're both the same thing with all the monster arts. You know, the tails are always the best part. They're all articulated and stuff like that. So you can really get this thing into whatever pose you, you want to get it from the film. Um, yeah. Did you like Godzilla King of the Monsters? I did. Yeah. I liked it when the monsters were on screen, having a good time. Ciao. They like to party. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Chandler's in it. He's my favorite. That's true. He When he was on it, it was good, too. There you go. Him and the monsters. I'll take it. But yeah, especially when this thing shoots all the lightning up and it's, it's intense. Yeah, we got it in the pose kind of where it's like it's most menacing to where it would like lift it up and try, <laughs> try to really scare you. Right, And right. Uh, if I were in Boston when this guy was destroying the city, uh, like in the movie, uh, I probably would have wet myself. Yeah, so clear out some shelf space, make some room, raise the roof, knock down a few walls, and get your King Ghidorah SH Monster a special color version. Get his own shelf. Yeah. And he's how much? A lot. $230. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a, it is a, a high quality figure and high end, and so it's going to be a little bit pricey, but yeah, $230. Nice. It's like $10 an inch. It is. That's uh, quite a bit. That's almost <laughs> two of those. <laughs> Anywho, what about for our friend, our our, our, uh, our friends who aren't on the imperial system, on the metric system? What's that? What's I that don't have an answer. It's a lot. <laughs> it's probably like sixty centimeters. I actually have a bookmark on my little laptop there to convert centimeters to oh. inches. Yeah, centimeters like a like thirty centimeters or a foot, I think. I don't know the answer. <laughs> or or three decameters, if got, you will. Got the big wings. It's a big figure. I love it. Gotta have it. Go grab it and uh, make sure if you do get it and you put it on your shelf, we'd love to see your displays. Make sure to tag at Bluefin Brands, and while you're there, give us a little follow. It uh, yeah. it definitely is. Uh, it's easy. It's free. It's cheap. It's fun. Yeah. And and, then, and you can even tag us with your Ghidorah figure and let us know how you posed it, and we would love to see your monster arts collection. So be sure to tag at Bluefin Brands. Yeah, absolutely. And until next time, have a fantastic day. Thank you so much.